Oh, we got another one, another hip hop beef. This beef between Nikki and Meg started way before this. I, I don't fuck with horses. I said it's 700 horses. What we fixing to leave? But I don't fuck with horses since Christopher Reeves. For y'all who don't know who Christopher Reeves is, Christopher Reeves played Superman in the 80s. And he became paralyzed when he fell off of a horse and later died. So that's what Nick is referring to for all y'all youngsters out there. But that didn't st stop Meg from taking shots on the song Bongos with Cardi B, insinuating that Nicki popped pills. And a lot of people know that Nicki has a struggle twerk. She ain't the best dancer at all. So when it comes to dancing and twerking, you know Meg does that effortlessly. Let's take a look. Hoes pop pills, but I'm the one they can't take. Hot girl shit, I'ma make some shape. I know the stiff hoes can't relate. So that's pretty much kind of how this these shots started. There's other shots that have been taken in other songs as well. Now you can do your research on that. But let's get into Megan's track Hiss and do a breakdown of the shots that she took at Nikki. Feel like Mariah Carey got these niggas so obsessed. My pussy so famous might get managed by Chris Jenner. Now Mariah Carey had a diss song called "Obsessed" that she um, wrote in response to Eminem saying that they dated or he slept with her or whatever. And you know Meg goes through that with people like the baby and um, you know Tori and everyone else who put her sexual history on trial during her trial against Tory. That's how it was brought up was all the people that she slept with. And a lot of people try to say that she's been ran through. Also, Mariah Carey had beef with Nicki Minaj as well. So that could be a double entendre on why she feel like Mariah Carey because they're so obsessed. I'm, I'm sorry. Are you going to do like, 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 And I kind of feel like we're, we're, so making, we're, what I'm making we're comments, making I'm do? trying to help her. We're trying to help her, as, well, trying to help her as opposed her. to just well, talk about her outfit. Well, I'm going to continue to speak. Of course. You always do. we're almost actually and of course the chris jenner line is self-explanatory if you know anything about chris jenner chris jenner is kim kardashian's mother kylie jenner's mother you know megan was at kylie jenner's house when she got kicked out okay and also we know that chris jenner knows how to manage the poom poom which means she managed kim kardashian's sex tape and was able to market it to turn kim kardashian into a global phenomenon so she said that her poom poom is so famous she feel like she'll be managed by chris jenner next let's keep going these hoes don't be mad at megan these hoes mad at megan's law i don't really know what the problem is but i guarantee y'all don't want me to start bitch you a pussy never finna check me every chance you get bitch your weak ass wanna dress me and that's the infamous line ladies and gentlemen that struck a nerve with Nicki minaj the Megan's Law line. The Megan's Law is a federal law that requires law enforcement authorities to provide any and all information to public regarding sex offenders. And everyone knows that Nicki Minaj is married to Kenneth Petty, who's a registered sex offender. Nicki has also been throwing shots at Megan Thee Stallion, as I played earlier in this video. She told Nicki Minaj, you a puss and you won't check me. I'm a big dog bitch, can't little sis me. Hoes get views when they trying to diss me. I'm a big dog bitch, can't little sis me. Meaning, Nicki Minaj has been in the game longer than Megan Thee Stallion, and she's older, so she's her elder, so you'll never little sis me, and you won't son me. Because everybody knows that Nicki Minaj will call you her son. That's what they kind of written. Still going hard with the odds against me. These niggas don't have fans, they bots. These bitches don't have ass, they shots, and they still tuned in if they fans or not. These hoes don't have fans, they bots. These hoes don't have ass, they shots. And they still tuned in whether they fans or not. They don't have ass, they got shots. Everybody knows that Nikki admitted in an interview with Joe Budden that she had ass shots. She had ass shots back in the day and Remy Ma also mentioned it in Sheetha when she did her diss record against Nicki Minaj. Also, Meg said you're tuned in whether you a fan or not. How you know so much about me if you don't? stalk me if you don't tune in to know what's going on with me but you seem to know a lot that's because you watch me and you know what the saying goes don't nobody watch you more than people who don't like you 
Let's go. Since I claim the summer, all you bitches want a season. Ask a hoe why she don't like me, bitch, she can't give you a reason. You know motherfucking well these bitches want to sound like Tina. Don't you ever grab a mic and think that me and you competing. And the last four bars that she took at Nikki is the ones where she said ever since she claimed the summer, all uh, y'all bitches want a season. You know, Meg has claimed hot girl summer since she came out. And after that, seems like I guess she's saying that all y'all want a season. You know, Nikki dropped in the fourth quarter. I saw on Twitter a few months ago that the winner belonged to hers. But Meg says, but ask anybody why y'all don't like her. Y'all can't really give a reason. Like at the end of the day, it's really no reason that you don't like me other than I did a song with Cardi B or you felt like I didn't pick your side in the battle. But by, but, but the line that I like is when she said, don't you ever grab a mic and think that you and me competing. Now that's some rap shit right there. Don't you ever grab a mic and think that you and me competing. Meaning I do this rap shit. I freestyle. Yeah, you sell a lot of records. Yeah, you can rap and everything. But when it comes to that gutter, hard, Tina Snow, Pimp C, Down South rapping, that's my lane all day, every day. And you don't never want to see me in a rap battle, freestyle battle. That's what she's saying. Don't you ever grab a mic and think that you and me competing. Sheesh. I can't lie, y'all. Meg did her thing on this. She pissed. She needed this. She needed this. So I'm going to give this round to Meg. I heard Nikki, Bigfoot. Yeah, um, that one did. Uh -uh. That one did. I don't know if it was a tease or what. I expected more from Nikki. I don't like high pitch animated voice, Nikki. I never have. All that super bass, all that, uh, I don't like that. I like gutter Nikki, up all night Nikki, high school, did it on, you know, where she go straight in and use her Foxy Brown flow is what I call it, you know, that tonality, uh, uh, the deep voice, you know what I'm saying? I like that Nikki, but all the voices and uh, the pop stuff, no, nah, that's for y'all barbs and that's for y'all fans. But anyway, man, get in the comments and tell me what you think. Do you think that Meg annihilated Nikki with this disc song called Hiss? Or do you think that Nikki did a better job with Bigfoot? Like, subscribe, hit the bell here. It's the Hip Hop Hammock. Peace.